Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about uh, Azure Data Studio again. Uh, we're actually going to delve into an extension into Azure Data Studio, something that we're really very excited about. As you can see, we'll start in Azure Data Studio. We've created several connections here, group them, which is an, an option. What we would like to do, however, is edit a query that does not exist directly uh, in Azure Data Studio, but in a repository of queries uh, that we have. This repository happens to be tied to a couple of our products, BIML Snap and ELT Snap, but it's not specific to that. This could be used with any repository that you might have. So for example, in order to use this, we would first have to install the extension. In Azure Data Studio, that's very easy to do. You would click on the extension icon and followed by the uh, ellipse and then install from ESIX, which is just a Visual Studio extension file. I'll go ahead and select the uh, beta copy and uh, say it's okay to install it. it. Wants to reload and that's all it takes to get this extension installed within Azure Data Studio. So if we now look at the extensions, we can see this ELT Snap extension that has been created. What we want to do next is to edit a query that exists in our repository. If I go to SQL Server Management Studio, I can see that I have this one table that happens to be our execute SQL pattern. And these are simply queries that are associated with a connection manager, and we've labeled it with a name, so we can actually name these uh, queries. This first one that you see here, which is a delete, uh, uh, starts out as a delete statement. Notice, however, that this particular query, it takes advantage of a parameter. Now, this parameter syntax is compatible with SSIS, BIML Snap, our ELT Snap product. But if you move it in directly into Management Studio or Azure Data Studio to run it, it will not run because of the parameter substitution that's required. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this query into Azure Data Studio, but in doing so, we're going to substitute this parameter with the associated parameter value, which we happen to have a se separate table called parameters, and you can see Row 14 here is the actual value, DEV, that will be automatically substituted. So when we bring this in from our repository, we can actually run it. So let's see how this works. If I go into Azure Data Studio, I'll look at the servers we have. I will connect to uh, create a new query and connect to our ELT Snap database. Now all I have to do is go to the command palette, which you could use control shift P or run through the menu. And you can see this option to retrieve a query from ELT snap. Now this dialog box uh, pops up. Now all of this is an extension using Azure uh, Data Studio as the core engine for this. So we're simply extending a product what that gives us is all the features that are built into Azure Data Studio are now compatible with what we are doing. So we'll go ahead and choose our, our connection, and there's our ELT Snap connection. We'll now, and we could choose if we want a certain project to get a certain project, but we're going to choose a certain package which has a query associated with it, and this is that same uh, package for uh, deleting our metadata rows. And now we just have to click on load query. Okay, by doing this, what it's done is it has brought in that query. It noticed that there are parameters that are in the query. So it has commented out actually the beginning and the ending of that and inserted into the middle the actual value that we now can use at runtime. So the idea here is that I can bring in a query, automatically substitute parameter values, and simply run it right here within Azure Data Studio. So if I click on the Run button, you can see that these three statements executed. 
Now we've already run this, so it's already deleted the rows, but the rows affected on each query uh, are also uh, returned. The idea behind this ultimately is to make Azure Data Studio the core editor for all of the SQL queries that we have in our repository. And it makes it very practical because the parameterization that's needed in the real world, for example, to run it in dev, test, or prod environments is taken care of for us, but we can take advantage of all the IntelliSense snippets, all the power of Azure Data Studio, and then save these into another product, whether it's simply a repository or a product that does other things with these queries, such as create SSIS packages through BIML or just run them directly from our uh, ELT Snap product. So hopefully uh, that uh, uh, has turned the light bulb on to some of the possibilities and we will review additional uh, capabilities in the near future. Thank you.